Hey guys, welcome back to Caesar 3. We're here on the seventh assignment and we're gonna be going into Tingis, that's right. So this is gonna be a military mission, a dangerous province, and in this mission, we, it's gonna be split to a few parts, but the main overarching theme for this is gonna be we're gonna make animal blocks. That's right, I'm gonna ask people in chat for an animal, I'm gonna draw an animal road shape design thing, and I'm gonna use those as blocks. So the first part is usually setting up the city, the second part should be establishing the city, and if we can, we're gonna go up to max level housing by the, probably the third part of this. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into Tingis. Our expansion west has ended at the edge of the world. I want a major Roman city built at Tingis to anchor our western border and to guard the approach to Hispania. Various forces throughout Africa and Mauritania resent our presence and will object strongly when they realize that you are blocking their passage north. Expect steady raids by nomadic tribes and possibly more coordinated attacks by the wild Numidians. Tingis has no iron mines. You must trade for weapons. I have commanded Carthago Nova to sell you all that they can spare. Open a route to them as soon as you are ready to establish your legions, which will be early in your city's history if you are wise. Because I expect your attention to be adequately occupied in building a large city and fending off frequent attacks, your rating requirements are modest. All right, so here we are on Tingis, the edge of the world. Population 8,000, which is pretty high, but besides that, 45, 55, 40, 50, not too difficult there. Let's go ahead and go to the city. Slow things down and see what we're dealing with. All right, so this is gonna be all about animal blocks. So first things first, let's just look at the world map. What do we, actually no, first things first, let's just force the music to, to get going, come on. There we go. Now, on the world map, we're all the way here, on the edge of the world, Tingis, our city all the way in the west. So we can trade with Cathargo Nova, which buys pottery and vegetables. That's probably a water trade route. And then here we can sell furniture and pottery as well. So pottery, it's two, two shields, two shields. So we could sell a lot of pottery and furniture. And then we're gonna have to import weapons, probably oil, wine. Marble. We can import two different types of wine. Okay, so luxury palaces uh, might be possible. Uh, I think, I think. We can also import meat, right? We can import meat. What can we produce here? Wheat, vegetables. We've got three types of food, two types of wine, so we should be able to get luxury palaces at some point, probably in the third part of this. Now, uh, what else can we produce? Clay pits, timber yard, fantastic. So we can produce our two main exports. I'm gonna need like an infinite amount of pottery. And it seems like we could probably put a dock right here, right? So this is the spawn point. Just set up a pottery industry right here at the entrance. So we're gonna be invaded. Probably from down here. These big open areas here. Maybe here as well. All right, so this whole eastern and southeastern side is gonna be pretty... I don't wanna build anything here. If anything, I'm gonna stop at this farmland. All right, so now we need some housing blocks. So I'm gonna ask people in chat on Twitch here. I'm gonna ask people in chat what animals you would like to see. So if you could just post in chat what animals you'd like to see and I'll draw the ones that stand out. Uh, I need to be able to think of the animal offhand. I need to be able to think of an animal offhand. Mm. Ah. Okay, we've got duck, sheep, cobra, wolf, cat, a lot of ducks, aardvark, jolfjol, <laughs> I don't know how to draw an aardvark, um, dog, elephant, all right, so duck, duck's sort of a big one, we can, uh, we can draw a duck first, so, we've got quite a bit of space, we've got quite a bit of space, so I'm gonna do sort of a Nazca lines thing, right? You, if you guys don't know what the Nazca lines are, they're, they're like drawings in a desert which can only be seen from the sky. And they're, they're like animals and stuff, like a monkey and things like that. So I could start with a duck. I guess I'll start right over here. I'm gonna clear off these trees. 
and let's draw a duck, okay? Now, these are gonna be Nazca line styles, so not very accurate, but representative, right? Representative. So let's draw a duck. Um, so a duck's got a beak. Uh, it's gonna need... Yeah, its head will be something along the lines of this shape, right? And then it's gonna have a body that goes down like this and over this way. That looks a little thin, so I'm gonna go down here. And then something like this. And then it's gonna have some kind of tail here. That looks wrong, don't, don't worry, I'll come back to it. I'll come back to the tail. And then maybe just notch in like that. Okay, we gotta fix this tail. That doesn't look like a tail to me. Maybe the tail's just sort of shorter? Ducks don't have like long tails or anything. But we could notch it a little bit like that. And then we're gonna need two legs. I know, that tail... Actually, yeah, I'll, I'll go with that tail. So, two legs. We've got a duck. Okay. <laughs> duck block is down. Now, what's the next animal? What's the next animal? Um, we've got a lot in chat. Hmm. Chinese Zodiac. Oh, there's a lot to choose from. Ooh, RM28, butterfly. That could be cool, that could be cool. Let's draw a butterfly. Uh, okay, so let's... Maybe over here? So a butterfly has sort of like a central body. I remember drawing butterflies in primary school. So it's got a kind of a central body. And then... Can't really... We're limited on space a little bit, so I'm gonna have to do something like this. So it's got its antenna things there, right? A little bit of antenna, and then it's got the two wings, which... Sort of like that, and then it comes down. And then... It'll have a second wing, which would sort of... It's close, but not... A second wing like that? That looks okay. So then we gotta keep it symmetrical, so let's try follow the design here. And that is one, two, one, two. And then it comes down this way, down to here. Where it notches up after two into there. And then it has that, which goes back out like that, down to here. After one, two, three, one, two, three, and it notches down like that. Butterfly block is down. There we go. There we go. Butterfly done. <laughs> okay, next animal, next animal. Let's see. Uh, we've got giraffe, lion, spider, wolf. Hamster, a drag. Oh, come on. Chavant, dragon, I probably can't do that. Um, snake, spider, bunny. Hmm. I like the idea of snake and spider. Bet you can't do a good turtle. Orc. Orc's not an animal, doesn't count. Um, let's, let's try, let's try spider. I'll clear off this bunch of trees. Let's try spider. I think I can do a spider. So, a spider... Let's have him face different directions, yeah. So we're gonna start with the spider head. So we're just gonna draw, like... a square. And it's gonna have... pincers of kind? Right? 
So it's gonna need... That, that's the mouth portion. And then it's got a big sort of body portion, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We'll keep that symmetrical. Then a big body portion. Actually, that's too small. Uh, that's too big, rather. Should be there. Yeah. So big body portion. Is that too big? That might be too big. Let's make it a bit smaller. And it'll go until about there. Right? And then the most important thing about a spider is its legs. So we'll have... One... Two... Three... Four. And then we're gonna have to clear off these trees just a little bit. I probably can't have them quite as long, but... One... Two... Three... And... Four. Spider! Spider block. <laughs> now let's do... let's do one more. Something small to fill up here. Something small to fill up here. The pincer is asymmetrical, is it? So it is. Good catch. We will fix the pincer. So, there we go. Alright, we'll do one more. We'll do one more. Hmm. Something, something relatively small. Snake? Snakes? Okay, snakes. We, we kind of, we kind of need to do a snake, right? So we've got duck, butterfly, spider, and a snake. H how do we draw the snake? Like, from what angle? We draw, like, the, the Zacolite logo? Or do we do more of a... Well, let, let's start with the head, okay? So, the head of a snake, we... It's hard to do... No, it, it's got to be a closed mouth snake, right? So we have like a head shape here. And it's going to need the tongue, which is going to be a forked tongue, right? So we could represent the snake with a forked tongue. <laughs> uh, it's going to have an eye there. And then basically it's just a tube that gets smaller and smaller, right? How do I... how do I represent this? It's gonna come down like this. That's a little too close. I'm gonna make this a bit thinner. Just to do... There. And this needs to be a bit thicker here. Proportions are hard to get right on... ...roadblocks. <laughs> And then it can have, like, the tail that just comes up. And although this is probably not a rattlesnake of any sort of particular species of snake, I'm just gonna... How do I do this? That doesn't look right. This has to come down here. Right? Mm. I don't... Maybe not the rattlesnake idea, yeah? Maybe not the rattlesnake. We're just gonna have the tail sort of... Maybe come down the other way. So that this is going to come like that. So we're going to imagine it wraps back round like this. That looks so much better. That looks... Oh, it's a coiled up snake. That's so much better. That's so much better. 
Ah, uh, okay, we've got a snake, we've got a butterfly, we've got a spider, and we've got a duck. Okay. So we're gonna start with this. If we need more blocks later on, we will build more blocks. We can always fit like another one there, or have things over here. I suppose I need something small for this side, right? What small animal can I fit right here? Because I'm, I want to put the, the big pottery industry right here. What small animal can I draw to fit an industry block here? Butterfly is awesome. Workflow sent? Yeah, it's, it's nice, right? I mean, we, learn, we all learn how to draw butterflies when we're young. I think the measurements are wrong, though. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, it's actually wrong. One, two... Is this wing bigger than the other one? Oh, I see it is. Uh... We have to do this. And then bring this in by one. Okay, that looks symmetrical, right? I think that's correct. One, two, three, one, two, three. That lines up with there, that lines up with there. Okay, that's correct, okay. So... Fish done in Carthago? I kind of did a fish bone in Carthago, so not, not exactly a fish, but a fish, a fish might work here. A fish is nice and easy and straight, so let's, uh, what's the range on? Let me just check this. I'm gonna need a dock, which is there. And I'm gonna need clay pits, is there? It gives a little leeway, okay. So a fish, so I need two tiles there and two tiles there. So I could draw a fish, I could draw a fish. And that should be easy enough to... I'm gonna have to bend... I don't know, a fish... Oh, I draw it the other way. I see, I see. Okay. This side is the tail side. So, one, two... So I have this as the head of the fish. And then we can have a big fishtail thing there. Fish. Fish. <laughs> Baby whale. Something. Um, I think I got a expand this a little bit. That looks like it makes more sense. And move that over there. Yeah. Okay. Whale fish thing. Baby whale. Baby whale. Okay, that's gonna work. <laughs> we've done it. We've done it. Look at that. This is what we do on Caesar 3 now. Uh, we've run out of block design, so we're just doing crazy things. All right. So we have our duck, our spider, our butterfly, our snake. Do I, w I might want to like shrink these legs a bit later on though. Uh, I, I like how the snake turned out, that's actually really cool. Um, and we've got this little baby whale. So we got to bring in population and now <laughs> and uh, get our... Um, was that I, uh, get our pottery industry going before anything else? So I think the duck block is sort of the easiest to work with, but also I just remembered we have to think of the immigration glitch. So I'm gonna need to put down some houses first. So how do I want to do this? Let's uh, let's get a couple houses moving in first. I'm gonna do that. Get some houses moving in. I think I can support five of these. Uh, which blocks do I want to to start up? Let's put that there and that there and this here. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. We'll get those guys moving in first. Okay, let's speed up the game. 
They should spawn here, right? This is a spawn point? Yes, okay, spawn points here. All right, so that's gonna bring our population up to about 200. And before I forget, I will prioritize water services, prefectures, engineers boosts. Okay. And we're just gonna put down some wells first. Okay. By the way, in case you're wondering, this is not the most cost-effective way of doing anything. Uh, <laughs> just save here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Will I add eyes to these animals? I might. See, the snake has an eye. Um, the duck might need an eye. I don't know. Snake does, though. Alright. So we're gonna get these guys moving in. And we're gonna need... Like, engineer's post, engineer's post, prefecture, prefecture, before anything burns down, yeah? <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy. Kirchhoff says, feels like the city was commissioned by Caligula. Uh, <laughs> he would do something like this, right? He would. What about the bigger butterfly left wing? Didn't I fix it? Oh, it's not quite correct. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, this is actually... needs to shift like that. Nice catch. There we go. There we go. Zalesi and... who else saw that? Iv Cho. <laughs> Notice that big thing there. Okay. So these guys are now going to move in. Nothing should be burning down or collapsing here. Fantastic. That brings the population up here. That's going to start moving in these guys here. I just need these houses to move in and evolve. Okay. And those all evolved, right? Large tent, small tent. Does that? Okay. So then we let these immigrants show up. Okay. And now... I let... I think I let them pass here a little bit first. Get past this point and slow the game down. Alright. So now we need to build enough houses to populate everything. Uh, I think... Hmm, which, which block is easiest to manage right now? I think it is the duck block because it's fewest roads coming out, right? So I think I now just populate up here, cover the back, cover the belly there. <laughs> Don't know what to call these things. Um, and just have all these houses move in there. Yeah, and also we're gonna need... How do I want to arrange this? On the ends? Yeah, I think on the ends. Oh no, here. So, prefecture, prefecture. Engineer's post, engineer's post. Okay. Get those going. And now, we have to block off the entrance here to get around the immigration glitch. Now, we're gonna run out of money here, <laughs> which is not so good. That should do. Yep, they're gonna start walking around this way. Which I think we're gonna need... to block that and block that. So they'll have to walk around this way to get to those houses. Just so we can get through the immigration glitch, yeah? And I need to make sure I have enough houses to, to push through. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put down... Not that. Yeah. Scatter a couple gardens around, maybe? Okay, okay. 
and everyone should be moving in around this way, and they should not be able to get past here, right? Yes, okay, perfect. So now, our population is 88 from this. So hopefully we can get enough immigrants on the map to reach uh, getting past the immigration glitch, yeah? Because for the immigration glitch, it's from uh, 200 to 300. So we just got to wait for these people to move in. Engineering's a little short in employment, so we really can't build anything right now. Just got to make sure nothing collapses. I think I might need... Like another couple prefectures or engineers posts or something. Engineers post uh, and prefecture, like there. Because that's gonna start burning down. Okay, there we go. Problem solved. Okay, so we're at 88 people here. That's a lot of immigrants. That's a lot of immigrants. And if they stop spawning, I want to build houses here. Yeah. Like that. So that we can get these houses moved in. At the same time as these houses move in. Okay, okay. We're just slowly managing this properly, so it does actually work as intended. We'll put down one well there. <laughs> Not that we need more wells on this map, so... Okay, once this population moves in, we go straight into... Jeez, fire is a problem on those houses. Uh, once these people move in, there we go, we're gonna start... Boosting this up. These guys are gonna start moving in as well. So we have to reach... A total population of 300 to get past the immigration glitch. These have extra room for people. Because as soon as we hit 200, people are going to stop moving in. And I don't know if this is enough. I think it is, I think it is. But we just have to be careful about this, make sure things are done as properly as possible. Okay, that's 200, which means people are disgruntled. And just to make sure we recover from the disgruntledness as soon as possible, we up this to 40 and drop this to zero. And now we hope that the remaining immigrants gets us to 300 people, which means I can now break that. All right. <laughs> so I think, I think we are safe. I think so. Yes, I know, I know. Oh. Okay, how are the gods feeling? Irritated, irritated, okay. Don't worry, don't worry, one problem at a time. One problem at a time. Alright, two, so see people start moving out, so that can be a problem. But I think this is enough immigrants, I think. I hope. Right? Two, six. Two, seven. It's not enough. Jeez. Jeez. This, this immigration glitch is a killer. I mean, last hope are these immigrants here. I'm just gonna have to speed it up because people start moving out. Oh, yes! January! January! Births! So now we're at 300. And now we're gonna go into debt next month anyway, so let's get some temples down, yeah? <laughs> um, also, yeah. So, series. Um, Neptune. 
Mercury, Mars, and Venus. So that puts us in debt, and then we can go ahead and put down our industries. Okay, okay. Gives us a bit of money, gives us a bit of money. Oh. Okay, okay. So now we need... How do I want to place this warehouse? We're gonna have a dock there. So I think we just have... Yeah, the warehouse here. Right? Warehouse there, which is gonna be accepting just pottery. And we also have unemployment of 54%. So now let's go raw materials, clay pit. We're gonna go crazy on these. Two, three, four. And we're also gonna need a dock. Which we can place... Here. There'll be room for two there. And workshops pottery. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's wait for all of those to get employment to drop our unemployment. 38%, okay. No employment problems, fantastic. Short by 29 employees, okay. And how are people feeling? People are still annoyed with me, but population is at 313. As long as it remains above 300, we're gonna be good. Ah, timing it with January by accident, if anything, was perfect. Okay, I think people have stopped moving out, right? People are indifferent to you, we got past the immigration glitch. It was close, it was close, but we did it. And now we just go ham on pottery, yeah? Let's get more people moving in. Just boost it up as fast as possible. Because we need to start making money ASAP. Opening up the land trade route is gonna cost 700, so we will go into debt to uh, fix this. Now let's drop our wages and raise our taxes again, just before we forget. More people are gonna move in here, fantastic. So we can get our employment going. We're short by 81. We're short by 81. It's not, it's not the best, but as these go along, oh, we built too many of these in one go. But I don't want to destroy them because they cost 40 each. We'll just wait for these guys to move in. Meanwhile, God's feeling okay? Yeah. Fire still seems to be a little precarious here. I think to be safe, we have to just temporarily do that. Because tents catch fire quicker. And I think here as well. Just temporarily. Okay. So as people slowly move in, 65... Uh, I can't prioritize that. Alright, we are starting to produce some things here. I guess if I just get rid of two of those... I know that costs 80, but... It's gonna speed up everything. We need to get pottery into our warehouse so that we can start making some kind of money. Ah, Doing these crazy, crazy things is, uh, it's difficult, it's difficult. Let's try to make sure nothing burns down. Are they gonna cover this? Yes, okay, fantastic. This mouth is a terrible design, by the way. I know it's supposed to be an animal, but I'm gonna get rid of the mouth at least for now. At least for now. Uh, decrease wages, don't worry, I did it, I did it. 
I'm gonna get rid of the mouth because it's it's just gonna make sh help make sure I don't die here. All right, unemployment of three percent. Let's just boost up clay pits. Distant battle. Okay, okay. Um, is it distant enough? It should give us a few years. It should give us a few years. First bit of pottery is coming in. Our workshops are starting to to work here. So we're gonna go into debt. More people are moving in. Unemployment of 4%, fantastic. Um, once we go into debt, we're gonna build a few more workshops. This buys us one month, so our debt anniversary sets to uh, July rather than June. And then we need to make our money back in one year. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Okay. Workshop pottery. We'll replace those two. Guess we could have... Two more here, actually. We have one, two, three, four, five. Employees needed. Okay, more people are moving in. We have five, so we should be able to support ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. We should be able to spot 10 of these. Quite a bit of pottery has come in. I'm just going to wait a little while longer until we have a decent amount. And then I'm going to open the land trade routes. Alright, so most of these should be working quite nicely. More pottery is coming in. Because we need to sell enough pottery to reset our debt anniversary. We've got 5 units. 5 units. 6 units. Okay, because once the, the land caravans come in, they can buy eight each, so we could probably sell 16. 8, 16, yeah. yeah. Okay, I think we're actually gonna be okay. I think we're actually gonna be okay. <laughs> For those of you just tuning in, we've got a duck block, a spider block, a butterfly block, a snake block. Look at that snake, I'm very happy with that. And a whale block right here. So, yeah, six pottery, seven's coming in. Uh, some of these workshops aren't quite working. I think we gotta wait a little while for it to... Okay, but let's go ahead and open up that trade route. So this is a 700 to open, I think, what, what is a land trade route, which buys pottery. Open that route, visit advisor, pottery, export, everything. I forgot about that. Ah. Uh... Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine, no problem. Doctor it is. Doctor it is. Doctor it is. That's gonna take a hit on our employment. Short by 16 is not the worst thing. Right, it's 16? Okay, it's 16. More people are streaming in here, so it should be okay. Now, where's the trader? Please, trader, show up and start buying some things. We've got 10 units of pottery in there, so that's enough for one caravan plus. Okay, next caravan should show up soon to buy more. Does that get us out of debt? Two units, two units? Yes! We reset the debt anniversary. <laughs> ah, who came up with this challenge? Uh, kind of Flizzy Duck sparked it. Flizzy Duck, who, who's a sub. I'm not sure he's in, if he's in chat right now, but Flizzy Duck asked me to draw a duck block. And then I thought of the Nazca lines. And thinking of the Nazca lines, uh, it looked like something we could do. So we did it. <laughs> so now we're just going to try boost this up as much as possible. Um, okay, clay is being delivered over to this side, but we kind of have to, I think it will eventually start putting clay into those two, I think. Okay, so we reset our debt anniversary. We've got to wait for more pottery to come in. So we can sell 25, a total of 50 units. So we can sell 50 units of pottery. Let me do the math here, 50 units. Um, I don't know how many of these produce per year, but I think we could do with a bit more, right? We're short by 20 employees. Not the worst thing. Let's get these houses moved in. Yes, yes. 
I just don't want to lose employment on any of these. So I want these houses to move back in. Okay. What? Why? Why? I've got doctors everywhere, don't I? Jeez. Uh, clinics. Doctors aren't enough to keep them healthy, huh? Shot by 33. Yeah, just, just start moving in, please. I guess doctors aren't enough. We need to feed them? Or do they need water? Maybe they need water? Is, is water the problem here? Fountains. Like, provide clean fountain water. Maybe that will help? One, two, three, four. Instead of well water, maybe? Okay. Well, selling more pottery here. Resetting the debt anniversary. So this first year really is just trying to make things work in the first place. <laughs> ah. Doctors weren't taught to wash their hands. Oof. Ah. Ah, Flizzy Duck is in chat right now. Flizzy Duck, there's your duck. Okay, some more people are moving in, which is good. They're slowly, they're slowly trickling in. Okay. Money is starting to come in. All these workshops are now working. Short by one employee. I think I can go ahead and put another clay pit here for another couple workshops. Like, one here. I think all the workshops are currently working, yeah? Employees needed, just by a bit, I think. Having a clay pit here will help distribute the clay a bit more evenly. Okay, so once we maximize our pottery sales, we should have all the money we need. Let's replace those houses. Shot by 15 people, okay. How much pottery have we sold so far? Oh, the year reset, it's February, okay. So, shot by nine employees, okay. Let's get another pottery workshop here. Okay. All right, all right. We're just gonna try and make as much money as possible. If I wanna go into debt further, I would go into debt to open up this water trade route, which sells another 25 pottery a year, which I think uh, we'll need for this year because we're now producing a ton of pottery, a ton of pottery. Ah. Who would have thought animals in a town are a health hazard? <laughs> oh, the animal block, it's not. Oh, are we actually going to not go into debt this time? That would be nice. Oh, would you look at that? Fantastic. So I could just boost up another clay pit there. Another pottery workshop there. City needs more workers, okay. And we're actually making some decent money. And we've now sold 16 of 25 by April, which means I definitely do want to open up the trade route, which will cost a thousand. Which I think is worth opening up now. Just open that up straight away. Yeah, just keep selling pottery. Who, who buys furniture? The land trade route, right? Yeah. Okay, so we gained a thousand denarii. Opened up the trade route and not gone into debt, which is good, which is good. No access to workers. So here comes the trade boat, which will continue to buy pottery. Thank you very much. Is this... 
too few people. How many people are we shot by? Not that many. Can I just... evolve these houses a little bit, maybe? Okay, so currently we are short on employees by 27. 27. So things aren't operating as fast as they should be, but... Sold for. Sold for. Ah. Okay, okay. He's gone. So, a few more people are trickling into this side. I think fountain water is better. I think fountain water did the trick. Keeping... Oh, city health was just... Uh, if I look at city health, it doesn't go up super fast. City health is average. Clinics are keeping foul influences under control. Okay, okay. Uh, so now we just sort of have to wait for more people and that infinite money we really do need. Okay, okay. That is, that is something we can handle. Five pottery. We will slowly stockpile that. Where do I want to squeeze in houses here? Here, I think. Services should go on the legs of the duck, so they go into the block and loop round. <laughs> that sounds weird to say out loud, but... Let's squeeze in a couple more houses here, just to boost our population, to make sure things are actually running. How many months to comply? 12 months? I should probably just dispatch it now, right? Before I forget, because I will forget. And also, we don't want uh, Caesar coming for us. All these workshops are working, which is good, which is good. One's short there, but I think this is pretty much the best we can do, yeah? Ah, oh, the trade boat came, but there was nothing to buy. Okay, so I, I don't know how many workshops we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 workshops. We have 13 workshops. Enemies closing, okay. Oh, some enemies closer to us. Okay, so in this case, we're going to need to do something a bit more conservative. I think we will not use weapons. I think I might just go all javelins on this map. So let's get a barracks down. We're going to need a barracks. there. And I think I go into debt just to start getting javelineers. And where do I want to house them? On this hill? I don't know if I want to build things on that hill. I don't want to waste my farmland. I think on this hill is the, the best place to have all the military sort of set up here. So that we can run them down when we need them. They could come down this way to fight off all of here. They could also run this way to stop that. Yeah, I think military on this hill is going to be a good idea. And I'm going to go into debt for this. Oh. Um, also, I forgot. We could hold a festival to Mars. Which would have been a good idea to do a while ago. How are the gods feeling? Happy? I think I just drop another small temple to Mars while we're in debt anyway. And also, just to make sure, do prioritize governance and religion. And health and education. Make sure industry and commerce takes the hit, if anything. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> um, military, we also should prioritize. Okay. So hopefully we can get a blessing from Mars and some military going. Yeah, shot by 18 people. Just squeezing some houses while we're there. Okay. How's Mars feeling? Charmed? Okay, the festival will come in. Hopefully we get a blessing. And we're starting to get our first javelin here. Okay, okay. <laughs> A few javelins should take care of them. Yeah, this is not a late mission, so we should be okay. 
Now we're just stocking up on more pottery here. It's August. How much have we sold? 18 of 25, 4 of 25. It feels like we're we're not we're still not producing enough pottery. I think we, we need more. Right? These traders. Oh. We didn't have enough. That's why. Alright, so we're starting to stockpile pottery. Hopefully a trade boat comes by. They can buy 12 of things. Unemployment of 1% sounds good. Here comes a trade boat. Thank you very much. We're gonna sell seven, maybe eight units of pottery here. We might be able to get up to 9, 10, 11, 12, maybe. All right, fantastic. That helps with our favor. And reset our debt anniversary. Fantastic. And did you buy a full of 12, 12 units? 11. Okay. But no pottery left over for the land trade route. Okay, so I think next year we will be able to see a better representation of how much we're producing. I don't know if we're producing 50 units. We gave five to Caesar. But this is going to allow me to clear off these wells. So we don't need these. Okay. Uh, I would like to get an academy, but is it worth it at this time? If I shift this temple to Mars over there. All right, all right. My name Jeff, your message got deleted. Unfortunately, I can't alt-tab out of this to, to, to allow it. Ah. <laughs> Feed your slaves. We don't have money to, to get food going, unfortunately. Did you buy some? Yes. 2% unemployment. We can staff a military academy, which would be good. Um, it's gonna be October. How much have we sold to here? 21 out of 25, 15 out of 25. Okay, I don't know if another trade boat will come through. But currently, Mars is exalted. I think I want to move this. Actually, what raw materials do we have? Claim hit timber yard? Military academy? No, it's got to go there, right? Oh, we can fit right there. Fantastic. Military Academy. And not in debt. Yes, another trade boat showed up. Which sells 20 out of 25. Okay, okay. I think we're very close. I, we might be producing plus 5. Yeah, we're pretty much producing uh, 50 uh, pottery a year. We'll need to produce more because... Um, because... We'll need to provide pottery to people as well, you know, because that's a thing. Do I just squeeze in, like, maybe a few more houses here? Squeeze in a couple houses there. Just squeeze in a couple houses there. So I can boost up... ...another clay pit? Allowing more pottery workshops? Clay pit there. We're just gonna break that so there is a way to walk through. Mars sends a spirit. Yes, and we are in debt. Don't worry about that. Workshop. Pottery. We're gonna need more of these. Do I fit them there? Yeah, eventually these need to be more pottery workshops. Let's just get down another pottery workshop there. Should be there, I think. Okay. And I'm gonna remove that house. No, this house. What's the most efficient place to put this? I think here. So that's gonna drop our population a little bit, but... I just want to make sure we are producing enough pottery. So that should definitely produce 50 pottery a year. 
Ah, uh, don't block the road to Rome. Yeah, we've blocked off this side, so we got to be very careful. I think if I just, for safety, leave that open. Yeah. And there's a little gap there. Okay. And we've almost got a full fort here, and they are now academy trained. Fantastic. Short by 20 employees. Just move in here, please. Just to get things going. Ah. I think we I think we've figured out something. <laughs> Just have to deal with this first invasion, which I think should be here any second, really. But we have a blessing from Mars, which is good. So we can now destroy these temples. Because if we want another blessing, we're going to have to piss him off first anyway. Lots of potteries in the workshop, uh, in the warehouse there, so that means we should be... It is a new year, so everything's reset. So we currently have nine units of pottery in there. All the workshops seem to be working, right? Yeah, all the workshops are working. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight clay pits. Right? And this should get us enough money for another fort of javelins, which I will place right here. Another fort of javelins, fantastic. What storms? The messenger who just arrived tells of terrible storms. Ships will be destroyed months before they're able to trade with us again. Well, that sucks. At least that guy bought nine. And this guy got two. Okay. Okay. And I think if we just get all javelins, it'll be okay. Now, looking at the map up there, you can see it pretty much is like the Nazca lines, isn't it? <laughs> Once you build a city on top of it, it's a bit weird. But you can see right now spider, butterfly, snake. It's very good. It's very good. These two blocks are close together. We could put like a house there to employ both sides. Could be a bit of an efficiency thing. Okay, okay. I do, I do like how it turned, especially the butterfly and snake. I think butterfly and snake took out, uh, turned out very nice, right? Very nice, right? Hmm. When will I start upgrading my houses? When it's at all possible. Usually after the first invasion. Ah, the snake is your favorite. My name Jeff. Yeah. Look at. That. <laughs> The forked tongue, uh, <laughs> uh, It'll look better if it's like that. Yeah. Maybe it's a bit too long. I'm just tweaking the... Just tweaking it a bit. Hmm. And then we could always, like, plaza up the eye. It opens the eye, doesn't it? Closed eye? Open eye. Which is better? Closed eye or open eye? I don't know. <laughs> well, there we go. That, that's the snake block. Uh, so plenty of pottery is coming in this year. We should be getting all the money we need. Mars is still charmed. We're getting our... Why is it splitting the, the javelin ears? Why don't you fill out this one first? Prima Legion. So they're all academy trained, fantastic, that is still working. So now we have 13 units of pottery, 14 units of pottery in that warehouse. Any trader that comes by, we should be able to sell maximum units. There's no boats coming in, so it's just the land trade routes for now. And I think this is turning out quite nicely. Um, to feed the people, we're gonna need to move in another block. I think the snake block is gonna be where our farms come from, right? Um, how am I gonna do this? Farm, wheat. We can have farms like right up against here, but is that what we want? Enemies closing? Oh, that's that one there. Okay, okay. So I think I start prepping this. Where's the one there. I think if I just have like a gatehouse right here and one, two, three, this road's gonna do something like that. 
No, actually, that's a bad idea. We're gonna move houses in on this side. And we're gonna need... Yeah, we're gonna need to double this up. Prefecture, prefecture. Engineer's post, engineer's post. And before we forget, a doctor's as well. Enemies at the door. Okay, they're coming in soon. Those guys right there. We're gonna have plenty of javelineers who are academy trained on the first invasion. Look at our money. Wow. <laughs> there we go. A good day to you. A good day to you. Alright, so we're gonna move these guys in and we're gonna need to have like a house on that side as well. So we could need to clear this up. So this road's gonna do something like this. We're gonna clear that. Uh, this is gonna go here. Granary needs to sit somewhere, yeah? I think the granary can sit like that. Yeah? And this firehouse and prefecture, I mean, uh, yeah, prefecture and architect's post should cover this, I think. I think. Because it's within two tiles. I think it, it covers, so I'm not gonna worry about it yet. But this is gonna be accepting just wheat. And now that people are moving in, we can go ahead and put down a couple wheat farms. Just to start getting some food in. Ah. <laughs> uh, Kirchhock asks, is there a difference in farm fertility? Nope, not in this one. Thousand people. So we've reached a thousand people for the first time. And look at our money. We just have all the money. So we have solved our money problem. We're now going to need to get a reservoir coming down this way. So reservoir there. And I think I'll need the reservoir to like... I'm going to need a reservoir like here, I think. And I'll also need a reservoir... Will this actually reach? What's the... It's nine, I think, right? What's the range on a reservoir? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we're gonna need a fountain to be at least here. Here, because the range on the fountain is four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're gonna need this to be there, and we can aqueduct this up. Clear that. Hook that up, and just for any convenience, we're gonna have a road break in the middle, allowing us to put fountains down here. Which we'll need to go two, three, four. It reaches four, right? One, two, three, four. Yes. One, two, three, four that and that right and that should cover all these houses perfect perfect so this granary is it gonna collapse or catch fire no i think it's okay but i think we do need to spam extra prefectures and engineers posts here Especially prefectures, just in case. Okay, so food is starting to come in. We're at a thousand people. We're actually developing a proper block. The duck block is a bit of a mess right now. We'll get to that in a bit. <laughs> um, we're short 15 employees, but these houses should be evolving soon. Um, we just need to like put a row of gardens there. Indigenous people fed up with your tyranny have taken up arms against you. Here comes the first invasion. Okay. Slow the game down. They're coming from here. Okay. We have almost 
too. But we will also... Is that... That is not one of the invasions. Jeez. Okay. Okay, that's not one of the invasions. But let's just deal with this first anyway. And on the back of this, we're going to put a fort of javelins over here as well. Just to keep training javelins on the back of this. Okay. Our city is shot by 14 workers. Not the worst thing in the world. I think all of our workshops are working quite nicely. Okay, we're going to make even more money. Fantastic. That's a decent sized invasion, but we will wait for Mars's blessing. We're going to try kite these guys a bit so we can start killing them now. These guys move rather fast though. Come on, shoot them. Okay, we're going to pull you back, run you back. Spirit of Mars's guardian, whatever. Okay, now let's kill these guys. And I think we engage them here, yeah? And just try not to lose anyone, maybe? We lost no one. Yes, fantastic. A bit of micro, blessing from Mars. That allows us to get another fort of javelins here fantastic and a bit of foods come in and all of that is looking very nice all right and i think that's going to be the end of part one for tinges we're going to move on to part two and if you're watching this on youtube just click the button on the screen right now to take you to it but otherwise thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next video